Um, hello, hello, it's August 2019 and I'm vlogging in my room at James's. What's this? <laughs> That's his piano, I'm sitting on the piano stool. I found that mirror in a vintage shop and James and I found that together. I can do a room tour in here at some point. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. It also has these doors from the 1930s, which are pretty cool. But why am I here? Well, as you guys know, in January, my flat flooded. <laughs> oh, just sick. Ah. It was horrendous. As a result of that, over the course of this year, I have been working with my parents and the insurance company to try and sort things out. It's not been that straightforward. My flat's sort of been in a holding period for, for a while. But in summary, after eight long months, things are finally happening. Renovation is a bit of a big word. Repair work, I suppose. All the hard flooring is being replaced. All the skirting boards in those rooms are also going. And because of the way the skirting boards are mounted onto the walls, they're gonna ruin the walls. So they're gonna have to do some plastering and therefore under the insurance, I'm also allowed to paint the walls. That's a big thing. So what's the flat gonna look like? Well, I'm going to have dark gray floors and light gray walls. Um, I did want pink. I did want a dark pink floor and light pink walls, but on the advice of friends and family, that's not the best decision. You gotta think further ahead. So I've been in the flat 19 months now, maybe longer, and at some point I will move out or maybe even rent it. So um, I might as well create a flat that I can you know, build a future upon. It's been quite weird compressing my home into the two bedrooms. That's what I've had to do. I've had to play Tetris with all the stuff. And that sounds easier said than done, but the rooms are weird shapes and lots of the things in the lounge area were massive. The only things I haven't had to move are the sofa and the art table. And the dining table just about managed to fit onto the balcony. We were shocked. Um, the other thing that happened, I had to get rid of my tumble dryer slash washing machine and my dishwasher. <laughs> My dishwasher has been broken since before I moved in. So I have the appliances, but they don't necessarily work. Ta-da! It's frustrating. So it's been a dead, chunky thing in the center of my flat. So I knew I had to get rid of that before the flooring, but then a week before that, my washing machine packed up. It's been a long time coming. So now I have no washing machine, no dishwasher. Thank goodness I have James. That's not why I've moved in. I mean, at some point I will get a washing machine. Frustratingly, I just didn't have time to do a flat tour before this all kicked off. So I have lots of clips I may turn into a small musical montage. Um, Cause things may be different when it all comes back together. I didn't think my home had changed that much since my first flat tour when I first moved in, but actually it has. I mean, this was my flat when I first moved in in 2018, and then this was my home in the summer of 2018. For example, there I had a single bed, and then I had a double bed for several months on the floor. And then 2019, it's, it's just a proper home. When I go back in, I'd like to tackle things a bit differently. It's almost like moving into a new home all over again. So yeah, that's the flat stuff. So it just feels so good that things are finally underway. I will post some other content and updates and stuff like that at some point. But for now, that's it. That's where I am. I'll see you in the next one. Come on. Kitty. Grable's been staying with us for a couple of days. Um, it's been a while since you guys have seen her properly. There she is. Not looking too ticked off. Hello. 